I spontaneously bought 6.74 acres of farmland, the land you see behind me, and I will show you in a second this summer. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know you could get a loan at the time. Found out I ended up getting a loan through Farm Credit. It is being held with Farm Credit East, not too far away from here. I also discovered you can get 0% down loans through the USDA, US Department of Agriculture. Highly recommend calling them if you qualify as low income or for one of their programs that they do have available to you, neither here nor there. So I thought I would just show you guys what a day in the life looks like for me as somebody who is developing undeveloped land. There were no utilities plugged into this land except for a well, which I did find with the surveyor because it's kind of hidden in the brush behind me. And this plan has kind of come together that I never really even imagined could and has ended now with a gravel road I'll show you guys and a 40 by 80 foot barn. Yay! That is going to be built right here between me and the road. And it's going to be used for events, workshops, teachings. Um, I'm gonna have hydroponic growing inside of it. I'm gonna have two stalls for hopefully some ponies. Hi! Oh my God. How are you real? Literally. And so then that leaves all of this land behind me is still mine all the way, you know, till you obviously see the houses. In the summer, you can't see them, but we are in stick season right now. All of that, I'm going to leave untouched. So I'm going to create a conservation element to this that I will also use in the process of educating. So meaning people will be able to walk and observe the native flora, fauna. I'm gonna invite local nonprofits, who, people who are experts in this to come talk about it if they want, come do free lessons or something like that to anybody who wants to learn more about why these plants matter. I'm gonna leave the milk weed alone which i've learned is one of the only is the only plant certain i think all butter or certain butterflies lay their eggs in somebody can correct me if i'm wrong on that one but i'm learning okay and um all of that's going to go on here trail cams even so people can check out there's a lot of deer trails through my property i've seen a lot of cute little field mice they're so cute in their little in their little holes i follow the deer path as you can see here and i try not to go off of it because i know there's a lot of different little critters and plants and such that are neatly and importantly buried in here and will do their thing when springtime comes which usually is not until the end of april here we have definitely a long a long winter in upstate new york but that's all the stuff that is happening with this land and i had no plan for it this summer so how the hell did i come up with this plan and may you ask well i followed one of my business mantras which is if you leave enough room for God slash the universe to show you what they, he wants you to do, then he will. If you try and control every single element of it, which is why I'm not a fan of business plans, then every single element of it is going to be controlled. So behind me is my gravel road, is the pride and joy of my life right now. It's 350 feet of gravel driveway that was packed in uh, six inches of top soil. Top soil layer was removed, fabric was put down, the gravel road was placed in, and um, yeah, it's 350 feet of it. We can walk it if you want. And then there's two culverts, as you can see, there's one right here that allows water to pass through it since there is a little bit of a flow of water because this land is very hilly, which gives it character, which makes me uh, love how hilly it is. There's, look at that, beautiful gravel driveway. Never in a million years did I think something like this would be interesting to me, but since I am behind the building of this, I find all of this to be incredible and I can't even express how excited I am to watch a freaking barn, a structure be built that is, you know, could be used for everything from Airbnb to a barn for animals to a place where I'm gonna grow food to a place where I'm gonna host events and have community workshops and, and all this crazy stuff. And I never in a million years could have thought it up, so I'm gonna be documenting all of it here, the barn build, the before and after. I'm gonna do time lapses. I've spoken with the Amish brothers I've been working with. I adore them to death. And they're actually interested in enlisting my marketing skills and services, just plot twist. So they are very open to me filming everything they do, including them. So before somebody says like, oh, if you film the Amish, it steals their souls. Not these ones, their bishop, their you know mayor is very open to technology being used in business. These people are capitalists. They understand how to make a fat buck. So no, they are not Mennonite. If somebody comments that, they are Amish. I've been to their home twice. I've met their families. I promise you they're Amish. So I am just beyond I'm excited to watch them build this barn and we're gonna break ground in March on it and other than that now they're just getting the permits done for it 
they have to call some of the local zoning people. They kind of handle it all turnkey, like A to Z, they're doing it. Over in that corner there is where my well is. It's a little bit muddy because it just snowed and then melted here. Oh yeah, you can see here's the fabric that was laid down underneath these beautiful rocks that I keep driving my Jeep on to help pack down, although they did use a roller to pack it down anyway. I'm also going to be covering how to make money off of doing something like this, how to make money off of land, how to make money off of agriculture, farming, conservation, all the usual things. Things that, you know, you guys have followed me for from the beginning. I'm not giving up the side hustle mentality or dream. So don't worry y'all. I'm still going to be talking about how to make money if that is why you followed me in the first place. Even though I'm having my farm girl era, that part of me is going to join along for this as well. So. With that, I hope you guys are doing well. Lots of content coming your way. Cheers.